the biggest advice I would say for an entrepreneur is to watch trends, share new information with your clients, take them into new terrain, uh, help them with their mindset to change, to want to change, and to keep moving and to keep keep evolving. Because this thing isn't, it, you know, there's so much more that's probably going to be coming. And technology is a big part of it. My name is Pam Perry, and I am president of Ministry Marketing Solutions, which is celebrating 20 years this year. Started in 2000, right? Kind of like almost pre-internet. And so I help speakers and thought leaders, those are their authors as well, thought leaders, that share the message into the world. So I show them how to position, how to brand, how to get media, how to get publicity for their uh, platform. And I help them build their platform and their brand. Went to college, majored in journalism. Love journalism. That was the thing that I did. Love speaking to people, talking to people, going to conferences, taking uh, information and turning into stories, whether it was on radio, TV at the time in college, um, on our radio station, or I worked in our newspaper. So when I went into PR, I actually loved it because then I can communicate with print reporters, radio reporters, TV producers, as well as write my own copy. I mean, I just loved it. It was the best of everything. Did that for a while until I got married and had my daughter and I wanted to work on my own business. So I started my own PR firm. The biggest advice I would say for an entrepreneur is to watch trends, share new information with your clients, take them into new terrain. Uh, help them with their mindset to change, to want to change, and to keep moving and to keep keep evolving. Because this thing isn't, it, you know, there's so much more that's probably going to be coming. And technology is a big part of it. So I started Basic Public Relations Agency. But where I am right now is really helping people, especially speakers, and I call them seasoned speakers, their next level. So I'm um, created a membership program that is part coaching, part mentoring, and part training. It's called readysetgospeak.com, readysetgospeak.com. And really it's everything over my two decades of being in business that I've learned that one, what they need in terms of mindset, what they need in terms of media readiness, what they need in terms of online social media strategy, what they need in terms of what their brand should look like in terms of visuals. All of that is put in to this Ready, Set, Go Speak. I have different uh, media people that they can pitch to, that they can tell what it is that they do so they can get the media that they deserve. So part of that, everyone who's in the community will be showcased in Speakers Magazine as well. They'll actually have an opportunity to grow their brand. The more publicity they have, the bigger their platform, they have uh, uh, a bigger platform. That means that they'll get more clients because we teach them, okay, you speak, but we teach them how to speak on the virtual stage as well. But if you're not speaking, what other pro pro programs do you have? Okay. So we teach them how to publish, how to, how to promote a book, how to actually leverage the book, how to leverage their own publicity. Obviously, one is having my clients really make that transformation, right? Where they come in and they just have like a little ink pen and a notepad and they have this idea. But the biggest one is where they take the idea, they tell it to me, I see the vision for it, and I help them achieve that vision. And they then go on and live their dream. Uh, I've won different awards and things like that. I said one of the awards I'm most proud of um, the last couple of years, I've won the award of the uh, Words of Wisdom Award by the National Association of Women Business Owners. That was a really uh, big award. I felt um, the Words of Wisdom, that that meant something to me because it was like, I would always love to know that I'm sharing wisdom. And the other award that for me was really, really uh, big or felt I felt uh, um, really good about was the Faithpreneur Award. And that's basically what I am, a faithpreneur, someone of faith, who's an entrepreneur, a faithpreneur. And I just won that. And that was the Legacy Award. 
So those two awards really meant a lot to me. I've not having a mentor, not having a guide, not having a roadmap, not really knowing. I mean, I was working from home. People were like, you're working from home. You must not have a real business. And so the early challenges for me was just not really having a real clear view. Remember, this was pre pre-internet. So I didn't really have a clear view of what other people were doing or how to put things together. Um, not having a role model because my family, I didn't come from a family of entrepreneurs. My mother was a homemaker. My dad was a mailman. So not really knowing what it was that I was doing was a big thing. I knew I had the skill and the gifting, but I didn't know how to put it together. So I would say once I got a mentor and a coach, which was about a few years later that I really understood how to really put together my business. And I've always had a coach ever since then. An entrepreneur is someone who is always, I believe, they always have to be optimistic. They are always seeing more than the average person. So if someone were to show you something, not only do you see it from the standpoint of what it is, but you also see the potential of how it can be sold or marketed or promoted. That is just a gene that's, that has to be in you, I think, in every entrepreneur. Um, if not, it basically, you, it's nothing wrong with having a job, but an entrepreneur is always looking on what's next, What's new? How can this be made better? How can this go to market? That's what an entrepreneur does. And for me, I'm always like, what's next? What's new? How can we take this to market? If we do find ourselves going in a negative space, if a client gets on your nerves or situations aren't working out, we try to really pull ourselves out of it. And, and don't ride with it. Obviously things are gonna go wrong. I mean, sometimes when technology goes wrong, that can drive you crazy. <laughs> so, so when technology is not working right, if the internet signal was weak, those are the type of things, but you have to learn to laugh at them because it's going to change in 15 minutes or so. It will change, nothing will stay the same. So I would say always just staying positive, staying upbeat, uh, knowing how to, uh, diffuse yourself if you do become angry how to diffuse yourself whether you know for me i have um my little puppy my dog over here come here pep oh now he's asleep so i'll have i'll have i'll take my dog for a walk i mean you've got to know how to diffuse yourself because when your energy is good you're going to bring good to your business when you have good energy you'll bring good energy to your business just like a client will come to you and say you know, what is it that you do? What can you do for me? What are your prices? And they're, they're doing the inquiry to you about what services your company would provide. Do the same thing for them. Make sure that you are aligned with them as well as them feeling like they're comfortable with you. They're exchanging their money to work with you, but you're exchanging your time and your energy to work with them. So you want to make sure that there is an alignment because there's nothing worse than a bad client. All money is not good money. So you don't have to work with everybody that comes to you and knocking at your door. <laughs> That's a hard lesson to learn, but it is the truth. Just be honest and connect with people. I mean, that's, real the real deal just really listening understanding people connecting with them seeing them for their authentic selves and you being authentic i mean i think in the world of you know memorizing uh, scripts or sales funnels or uh, trying to uh, remember how to pull together uh, all kind of uh, i guess you would say the right email sequence or whatever it is <laughs> Uh, be authentically you and knowing what, what it is that you, you stand for, always be true to your values and communicate that. And I think you'll always be a good person, a good storyteller when you're authentic, when you're true, you don't have to really try to do a hack or a trick, just be you. And there's so much more joy when you're that way than having to figure out a, a trick or a hack. Well, it's hard to really help someone with confidence if they don't have it. 
they have to dig within themselves, but I will recommend some different books that will help them. Uh, Think and Grow Rich is a, a classic by Napoleon Hill. People always say, oh, yeah, yeah, I read that once. Well, read it again. <laughs> read it again. I would say uh, listening to any motivational things on YouTube, you know, Tony Robbins or whatever, someone that can fire you up. Les Brown is a great speaker. Willie Jolly is a great speaker. Dr. George Frazier are great speakers. And I would just say that the main thing that people have to do in order to be an entrepreneur, you've got to risk to win. If you want to win, you have to risk. It is important in today's era. Like I said, 10 years ago, not so much. 20 years ago, it was ineligible. I mean, you had one headshot and that was it. You had one picture. But now everyone is a brand. Everyone's an ad campaign. We need pictures all over the place of ourselves. And, you know, whether you need it as a badge for social media or you needed a banner for your YouTube or you need it for your podcast cover or you need it for your book cover. Book covers especially. That's one of the things that books sell in middle seconds based on the book cover. They says, oh, don't judge a book by its cover. But we do. We judge a book by its cover. And uh, so that's really more important today than ever. Your website, people make judgments of it. They'll make judgments of whether you're professional or not based on the, the graphics of your website. And thank you, viewers, for watching Founder X Series by Design Hill. So you can follow me at uh, Pam Perry on Twitter, which is Pam Perry on Twitter. And I'm also Pam Perry on Facebook. Pam Perry PR coach on LinkedIn. And then of course, PamPerryPR.com is the site where everything is there.